My dude, I met Charlie when I was in Oklahoma at the school for avionics, and I was selling dope out there too. That's how I met Charlie. Me and Charlie used to be together damn near every day. You know, because at the time, Charlie's addicted, right? Yeah, He's of course. Coke. I'm selling coke, so <laughs> me and him is like this. He bought my, bought my first motorcycle. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let me, let me ask you about Kale, man. Like, mm -hmm. like Kale, see, how was it working with him? Rockefeller, Bad Boy, Murder, Inc., as a matter of fact, all of those labels, Rough Rider, you add, put all of those labels, com work combined for that year, they still and I'll do what we did. You know, super, I'm a big, that's super, my guy right man, there. Super hip, Kel is so talented, man. Genius, Humble. Musical genius, you know, putting that shit together that he did and then working at the pace that we did. You got to understand, you put out that many albums a year, we got five producers working around the fucking clock. Mm -hmm. Track after track after track after track. Then we got to manage all the fucking artists because if they hear a track, this one going to want it and this one going to want it. So what me and P would do is we'll listen to all the tracks and we'll see who they fit. Because you know when you do it enough, it's like when I was selling coke and shit, I could just scoop an ounce out without measuring it to be to the T. You know, when you fuck with that shit oh, enough, yeah, you, you bad. fuck with it. You know, yeah. I could count money. I could just grab a stack. I know, know what exactly. it is. Like yeah. shit like that. So with music, we doing so much music, I could hear a track and I could hear who voice belong on there. Wow. Yeah. And so that's when, uh, like when that Here I Go shit came on. Yeah, yeah, when that, yeah. When that track came on, I'm like, nah, I called Mesco. Me and Kel in the studio, he played a track for me. Call Mesco right now. You knew it. Call him right now. Where you at? Get you. Got one for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Knew he was going to kill that Got beat. one for you. When, Man. When, when sitting in the car with Gilly, they smoked out. Writing and shit, smoked out. Him and Gilly coming up with shit. Came back in there, murked that motherfucker. I was like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Man. Tell, tell me about um, Charlie Wilson. Because have you met him before? <laughs> Here we Charlie, go. Charlie, my dude. I met Charlie when I was in Oklahoma at the school for avionics and I was selling dope out there too. That's how I met Charlie. Me and Charlie used to be together damn near every day. You know, cause at the time Charlie's addicted, right? Yeah, He's of course. Coke. I'm selling coke, so me and him is like this. He bought, my, bought my first motorcycle and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm fucking with Charlie when I'm a kid. I'm 18, 19 wow. years old. Sitting up this all night. This guy Charlie right here. Sitting up all night, you know what I'm saying? He's he making music doing his thing, and I'm sitting right there serving him all night, bam, I go to bed, seven, eight in the morning. Wow. Go to sleep, shit like that. Wake up late in the evening, call me again, man, where you at? Need to see you, mm -hmm. you know, so we, we got to know each other like that, and then when I called my case, we was fucking around, then I called my case, bam, and I left, you know, and he didn't know what happened to me, and, uh, he still older me about twenty five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> Think about that shit. <laughs> Charlie, what you say? You gotta come pay up, dog. No, 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 no I'm just messing with you. It was funny though because when Snoop brought him back around, yeah, right. after we signed Snoop, he comes in with Correct. Charlie. So he come in with Charlie to do the song for Mia. So when he yeah, come I in and that. I see him, I slide up to him on the cool, and I'm like, "Say, nigga." He looked at me. I'm like, "What my 2500 year old man?" <laughs> what he say? What he say? He said, "Look." He, he, was, he was he was spooking because he didn't know, you know, what where yeah, I was, was at, at with it. it. Right, like where I was at with it. But I'm like, dude, stop fucking tripping. You know, I don't give a fuck. You know, we I'm having money. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You. But it was funny, like to talk about it and you know all that shit. You know, and he was you know still getting himself together and. um yeah, Get back on and shit. So that was that was a, a that, good time. Yeah, I yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.